Alrighty guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the setup area for the production manager. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Um, sorry, let me skip back to the program there. So now, like I uh, mentioned, this is a, or should I say, this is a mini series on the production manager, and I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. So now, carrying on from previous video, we're going to be looking at um, the setup area for the production manager. So first of all, I want to open that. I'm just going to simply um, use the uh, what's it button or the shortcut for the current plot feature so as you can see control l is the shortcut for that so then just wait for this to open quick now the thing about doing it this way it's going to open your current plot feature as well and i'll show you now why that is important so now obviously the setup area is the one here on the left so what we can do here we can see the um, basically the cutters we are using you can obviously check which ones you want enabled or if you want to delete things or so forth you can go about this way we also if you right click we have um, properties for each one of them that we can set which we can look into and then you can also double click them and you will basically get to their properties so you can see with each one so this one is the default job properties it's the same as in our cut and plot feature we have to go on the top here on the properties click that then you'll see we get the same thing the default job properties and its options so that is the equivalent of right clicking and going um, default job properties or double clicking it so we can set the same settings here now we can also um, uh, add uh, another printer here if we want it so we can right click on this white space and simply say um, add setup then over here it will ask us um obviously the, the make which will be am.c.za and then the model so then you can navigate through till you find the one you're looking for click next and then there's some more options you can always rename it here if you want to um have something that makes more sense for you under your actual editor and then yeah you can choose the the ports and so forth we're not going to go into too much depth about how to set this up but rather just this is where you set it up so if you need to set up a, um, another cutter so this will kind of vary depending on cutter to cutter and also the kind of connection you're using then you click finish and then as you can see now we have the new um the v smart v3 also and it's already checked but now something to keep in mind if we're going to be sending a job let's say we go here click send and if we go back to this previous one you can see now we've got this job over here now if i had to click this printer it's no longer available and that is because you need to choose which job you send it to so if you've got multiple printers and what you can do is you just go under your cut and plot feature before you click send click on this little arrow or on the name and then you go to the v3 now if we click send and we go back to it you will see here under our uh, smart v3 the job is also there but otherwise that is the basics on um, the setup area we'll sort of go into more depth about what some of these uh, functions do if you right click and set it but for now um, we'll just add a look at the basics of um, setting up also another printer then you can obviously if you do not like it you just right click it you can delete it and then we're back to our normal one otherwise we you guys head to software training.co.za you will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find what you're looking for just go here request a training video then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers